Hi, welcome to my channel, Rylani Creations. I'm Wendy. Uh, today we'll be going over how to make these grapes earrings. These are with using smaller beads and then if you use a bigger bead, it will look like this. And also, uh, in addition to the earrings, you can connect them to like a keychain. Uh, you know, you can hang it onto your backpack, your purse, or even if you want to wear it as a necklace, right? You can do that too. All right, let's get started. To make the grapes earrings, um, so I'll just go over what the materials I use to make these smaller ones. So these here, I use 4mm uh, bicone crystals, purple and green ones. So you can see here, some purple ones, and then some green ones. And in addition to the crystals, you'll need to use threads to tie the crystals together. Uh, I use the Miyuki brand or even KO brand. They're both Japanese. They're 100% nylon, so they're more sturdy and won't break easily. They almost feel like almost feel like floss. Um, then we also need uh, some wires. Here I have a 26 gauge wire. Um, it's six inches long. You're going to need everything I go over now. You're going to need twice as much, right? Because we're just going over the materials you need for one airing. So you. To make a pair, you'll need twice the amount of materials. Uh, also, we'll need like little small beads, and they'll go over that later when we're making the airing why we need them. And tools wise, we need this round nose plier to make the loop at the end. We'll need a, a wire cutter to cut off the wire. And this tool here, which, you know, just to kind of smooth, uh, smooth off the wire so it's not poking you and You'll want to use one where it's kind of flat here, smooth. There's no teeth so that it doesn't scratch your wires. So here, there's different layers to the grapes. There's one crystal down here. There's three, five, six, and then four green ones. So we're going to make, and I call them circles. We're going to make each circle and then connect them all together. Okay, so I will go over using the biggest circle because it's easier to see. So here I have six crystals, about six total. So what you want to do is you want to put them in the thread, right? The Miyuki thread that I went over. And then you want to kind of tie a knot here, okay? And then I double knot it. So I just put the thread in again two, two times and double knot it that way. And then, okay, so now this side here is double knotted. Um, what I do is I run the thread through the crystals again one more time and then do the same thing to make sure it's really tight and tied down, okay? We put the threads through the crystals again. So now I'm going to knot it once and then I'm going to run the thread through two times to double knot it. So one time time okay and then that's double knotting and um, if you want you can add some glue to it just be careful with the glue and maybe what I like to do when I do apply glue is I use like um, like one of my wires to just get a little bit of glue just to kind of dab that knotted area so it doesn't get all over the place and um, you want the crystals to be shiny you don't want it to be covered in glue okay so here we're done with that and then we cut it okay and then you so this is the six crystal circle right call it circle and then you want to repeat the steps with the with five crystals three crystals and four green ones so this is going to be the top kind of the leaf part so now you have a total of um, four circles right so this is the six crystal five crystal four green and three purple it's hard to see all right so now you have all the circles what we do is we're going to take this six inch 26 gauge wire we put one purple through the wire okay to the middle of the wire so not to be exact but i try to get it in the middle as much as possible okay in the purple in the middle of the wire and then I just use my nails to kind of close that up you see that and then 
I twist the wire to basically lock in that crystal at the end. Okay, so twist a little bit of my hand first, and then I always use this tool here, which it um, this tool usually I use it to smooth out the wire, but here you can use it to just hold on tight to the end of the wire and start twisting it. Okay. So it looks like this. All right, now that we have that, we can start adding the circles that we've made. So here we add, um, first we add the, the three beads one. Okay, and then we add the five. And then when we add the five, I like to add, uh, because these, these are circles, right? And then the wire is so skinny, so and because I made them with a thread, here, they don't stay in shape. They're not gonna stay in shape. You can make it with wire, but then it's hard to hide the wire. So I like to make up the thread, but they don't stay, you know, they don't stay in the form of a circle. They do move around. So what I do is I add um, the white seed bead, but I look for beads that are kind of just the right size to fit in the circles. So I add this in, this white seed bead in. And it's also, um, it fits through my wires. And that's also how I choose what wires to use. You know, you can use a 28 gauge, 26 gauge, 24 gauge. I I prefer a, a, big, a thicker gauge, right? So 24 would be thicker than 26, 26 thicker than 28. I prefer a thicker gauge wire if possible because they're more sturdy. Um, but let's say my beads don't fit through uh, 20, well, they don't fit through the 24, but that's why I'm using 26. If they don't fit through the 26, then I might choose to use the 28. But again, I prefer kind of a, a thicker wire. So I, I try to use the one that where the beads would still fit. Okay, so I added that white C bead in. And then what I do is I add this white one in. This is a white 4mm bicone crystal similar to the red uh, sorry similar to the purple and green that we've been using this is just a white one and then I add this to the middle you know just go through the wire it helps to kind of keep the shape of the five bead and also the six bead so now I'm just adding the six I call them bead crystal back home you know what I mean the six crystal circle one okay so I add this in and then now the, the last one is the green four crystal circle. All right, um, so it's starting to look like a grape. And then what I also do at the very end is I add another seed bead in. This is a green one to not only uh, go through the circle, the green circle, but also when I create the loop, it helps kind of keep everything down. <laughs> Just adding it in um, and then try to adjust it as much as I can before creating the loop and locking everything in okay you can kind of see just massaging it to look more like as much uh, like a grape as possible create the loop at the very top so I'm using my hand to hold down everything uh, because you don't want to keep everything in place, right? You want to lock it in as much as possible. You can still adjust it later, but um, you want to lock it in as much as possible. So here, uh, what I did is I run this wire around the round nose plier, and then just kind of go around. And I want to make sure that I'm going all the way around so until there's like no more space between the, the seed bead and the wire because I don't want the everything to be moving around. You want to push it down so that these crystals are kind of are all like pushed together and not going to be moving around too much. Um, otherwise, I'll be so loose that it just won't keep its shape, right? Okay, so let me just make sure. Big thing, it's so hard to tell sometimes. And I'm gonna do it one more time. Okay. Um, and then once you're done, so before I 
before you cut off the wire I right? always like to make sure everything looks right first if it doesn't I can always unwind and, and do it again right you don't want to cut off the wire and now it's too late you can't make changes anymore so we take this wire cutter uh, it's flat on one side so that you can get as close to it as possible you don't really want um, like a curved one or something so here cut it off okay and then remember this tool that I mentioned there's no teeth it's smooth so here because after you cut off the wire they're still a little bit sticking out so what I do is I use this and um, and just kind of push it in and smooth it out that way just push it in okay so then this is done so and also this is very handy you can use it to hold on to uh, connectors like this right so connect it the grate through and then your ear wire through and just go like that to close it it's so hard to make videos and touch or show every step but here's our grape Oh, and if your grape is moving, let's say, as much, even though you try to tighten it and lock everything in, if it still moves, the crystals are still moving a lot, you can you can use a little bit of glue to, to lock each layer together. But here's the grapes. All right. If you enjoyed this video, please like and please subscribe. This is a new channel. This is my very first tutorial where I'm showing my face and giving instructions this way so definitely there's lots of room for improvement I'll try my best but if you um, want to see more please subscribe I'll continue to make more in fact my next videos will likely be just kind of me going over the tools and how you use them what you use them for and then I'll also make a video on kind of the different wires that I, that I use the different gauges when I use what wire um, and then I also have a lot of uh, designs that I've already made and posted on my Instagram account so please go and check it out there uh, if there's a design that you like and you want me to make a longer video of you can always leave me a comment moving forward new designs I will be making tutorials so again please subscribe um, so that you get notifications when I post new videos and please 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 like this video thank you